must be some kind of way out of here. My name is Yvonne Schwina. I'm the founder of Patagonia. I met Royal uh, at Stony Point in the San Fernando Valley where we kind of all learned to climb. We were lucky to be part of the golden age of Yosemite climbing. In 1964, Royal asked me to come along on the first ascent of the North American Wall on El Capitan. Well, you know, I, I had always told my parents that I was a climber, but they didn't know what that meant. Then one day they're looking at television on the nightly news. There was a helicopter going by the, the North American Wall on El Cap, and they zoom in on these crazy guys hanging from hammocks. My parents just about fell off the sofa. It's the first time in their lives they realized, you know, what climbing really meant. When we did it, it was really the most difficult rock climb that had been done anywhere. And Royal was kind of the leader of that. It was his idea to do that climb, and he was definitely the leader. I'm Alex Honnold, I'm a professional climber, and I think Royal Robbins is the man. You know, I think Royal's legacy probably is clean climbing, or his contribution to the clean climbing ethic, where the challenge was more internal, and like less about the gear, less about uh, you know, overcoming the mountain and more about overcoming yourself and, and being able to challenge yourself uh, on the inside. I'd heard from his family and, and some of his friends that he thought highly of, of my soloing and stuff. And, and I can see why, because it's sort of in the same spirit as, as what he was doing. It's pretty exciting to think that Royal Robbins even like knows who I am slash like has an opinion on, on my climbing. You know, you're like, that's pretty cool. Some of us choose a life in IT or event planning. Conrad Anker has opted to swing from a nylon stepladder 19,000 feet up a cliff. It may seem an odd way to spend one's life, but it's his way. Robbins was one of the first professional climbers there was in the United States, but he also brought greater awareness to climbing. And this was in a day when there was newspapers, the radio, and three television stations. It wasn't the broad access of um, digital media as we now see. And that was um, all of us that are in the sport today that make a living from it. We have a sense of uh, um, gratitude to Royal for showing us the way. I mean, Royal was a classic American boy. There's no doubt about it. He's kind of, kind of a square. You know, he married early and he had a wife and he had a business and you know he was kind of the all-American square-jawed boy. And but you know, those are the values that uh, we're probably missing right now. I mean, you know, politically this country is in a mess. Probably need to go back and, and find some more of those royals. <laughs>